Fez is a 2D, 3D platformer, and what we mean by that is that the game takes place in a 3D world. You actually explore it two dimensions at a time, which is like four different views of a 3D kind of cube thing. It's very chill, it's very zen, relaxing experience, but it's also it has a kind of a deep underlying secret system. You spend more time in the, in the game trying to figure out what you're trying to uncover, which is kind of interesting. On PS4, you get the bump up to 1080p, which you would not think makes a big difference for a game like Fez, because it's really chunky pixels. But at the same time, you get really good definition on those pixels, and it actually does make a difference. And it runs like extremely smoothly, it doesn't drop a frame. On Vita, it's exciting because it's the first mobile version of the game, the one that you can bring around with you on the bus. And we feel like it's a really good fit for the game as well, because you can play it by smaller chunks and kind of pace it better. For Fez, uh, it's cross-buy across all platforms, so you buy like one copy of the game, you get it for all your PlayStation systems. And uh, cross-save, you get a safe slot that you can, you can share across the three titles as well. Part of the game has been done from a company called Blitworks in Spain, and uh, it's been really, really good working with them, because they actually had to rewrite the game to C++ to make it optimal performance on Vita and PS4 and PS3 as well. Working with them has been really good. The game is super stable, it's super beautiful, it runs well. And like the support from Sony as well has been really good, because they really wanted the game to come to PlayStation, so they've been doing everything in their power to make that happen. PlayStation.